In a small log cabin lit by sunlight through a tarnished window, a young boy was taking apart his father's watch. His family had gone to church, which left him at home since he had claimed he was too sick for church that day. The young boy's parents had no idea that their son had taken apart the watch to see how it worked, which, by the way, he had put back together, making it work in a higher quality than ever. They also had no idea that their oldest son would become an all-around legendary American inventor, Eli Whitney. On December 8, 1765, in Westboro, Massachusetts. When he was 12 years old, he made a violin. Eli Whitney loved building and making new things. He spent many of his childhood days fiddling with the tools in his father's workshop, which was used to assemble and restore furniture. But life was going too fast for the young Eli Whitney. Whitney had already started a business when the Revolutionary War started. His business sold nails. His business ran very smoothly. However, he began another business when the war ended, selling hat pins and men's walking sticks. When Eli Whitney was 19 years old, he decided that he wanted to attend college. Since he didn't get that well of an education when he was younger, he decided to try out for Yale College. He took the exam and passed. His schedule suddenly became very busy. Finally, Eli Whitney graduated from Yale nine years later at the age of 28. After he graduated, he needed money very quickly because he spent much of it for college. But help almost came right away. Receiving his degree, he decided to teach at a school in South Carolina. He ended up living with Mrs. Green, a widow of the Revolutionary War General Nathaniel Green. He stayed with her while studying law. Whitney would listen to conversations Mrs. Green had with her neighbors about the crops in the South and how slaves had to labor extra hard to harvest cotton. That was when Mrs. Green proposed Whitney to come up with an easier way to harvest these southern crops. Eli Whitney had an idea. He went down south and observed as slaves picked, harvested, and sorted through cut. He then made a special machine to perform the same job, but ten times quicker. This machine took toll and caused a huge dramatic effect on Southern economy. This machine was called the cotton gin. The cotton gin revolutionized agriculture and the world as we know it. <laughs>